Hi all, good afternoon. This is Seth here from Smithy Technologies and today I would be demonstrating CCA175 Scenario 1 which is nothing but your Hadoop and Spark developer certification using PySpark. Okay, so let's understand. It's a very simple scenario. So what does the first scenario says? Given data from 1 to 10, you need to perform below activities. And what are those activities? Find odd and even records and save them in different files. Okay and restrict the data below to 6 and save it in another file okay so this these are things which we need to perform and we need to perform using DSL and Spark SQL language okay so I have my PySpark terminal open so I'll be performing all my activities in this terminal okay so let me first create my data frame so I would be writing like spark dot create data frame and I would be providing my data that is nothing but from 1 to 10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and the, and the final one is 10 ok so this is the data which I am trying to provide and this data belongs to a type integer so I am just trying to write integer type and as I am using this I need to import some package and what is that package from pyspark.sql.types you need to you need to import integer type okay so let's see whether these two statements are working fine in our terminal cool so let's see data frame dot show as an output we are able to see the data good so what we needed to do is we needed to find even records we needed to find odd records let's construct that okay so we'll try I'll try to find my even data frame that is so the data frame name and I will be just applying a filter clause on that filter clause what I would be doing is I would be applying a mod okay so mod of so what is the column name so the let's execute the approach show so the column name is nothing but my value okay so that is nothing but my column name so well why twice it's getting okay so I think like just uh, so let's give my column name that is nothing but my value okay so let me close this and if this mod of 2 if this is equal equals to 0 which means that I have my even records okay let's execute this and even data frame dot show so I should see all the even records you see so in a similar fashion if I want to see my all my odd records what I would be doing is I would be just changing this data frame name to odd and the remainder would be one let's copy this and paste this and see output of odd data frame dot show okay I'm getting my odd and even records beautiful and I just need to do one more thing that is Mm, filter yeah so we need to filter the records which are below 6 okay so let's try to filter the data mm, let's say filter data frame so the existing and I would be just writing a filter okay what I would be doing is on column I just need to and what is my column name so we have seen the column name is value so I need to filter less than means I just need to have less than 6 so as I'm doing as I'm using column so I need to import one of the package from PySpark dot SQL dot functions I need to import column otherwise I will be getting an error okay let me copy this let's go to terminal and execute this and let's see the data as well okay so I'm getting the data less than five records cool so all the things are being done so what I need to do is we need to perform this using DSL language and Spark SQL so I've already performed using DSL language so let me write the DSL language over here which is nothing but your domain specific language we have used and now we'll try to write using Spark SQL okay so my data frame is already created what I would be doing is I would be using that okay and I would be creating a temp table okay create or replace temp view 
and I would be naming that you can name anything of your choice so let me name this as temp let's copy this and let's paste this okay so something is created if you want to see what it what is there inside that so what you can do is you can write spark dot sequel and simply you can write select all the records from temp and what you can do is you can just say show so you should be able to get the data which is in your data frame via SQL queries okay so that is done so now what I need to do is whatever the things what I have done in a DSL way I need to perform in a SQL way so let's try to do that so spark.sql okay so if what was the column name if you see so here also if you see the column name is value okay so let's use that so select value I will be applying a mod function as we have used in the earlier as well so if the mod of 2 okay if the mod of 2 it's like if it is like equal equals to 0 or equal equals to 1 uh, based on that I will decide whether it's my uh, odd or even okay so okay so let's say this is I'll just need I'll give a column alas as let's say even data you can give anything it's your call and from my table which is nothing but my temp table okay so this is a query which I would be doing is and on top of that what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to write a where clause okay so what we can do is let's go over here and just write a where clause okay and in this where clause what I will write column of this odd um, yeah so let's say column and what is the column which we have written even data let me copy this okay and this should come into your double quotes if this is equals to zero which means that I have my all even records and I would be just selecting those records so select and uh, the column name is nothing but value and I just need to say show if all syntaxes are correct this should work and give us the odd records let's execute this and see okay so it is giving some invalid okay so I've just used where clause but I have not after this new line so I have not prefix a dot so that is what I am missing so let me eradicate the issue so let's prefix it and let's copy the statement again let's clear off the screen and let's execute this now okay if you see now I'm able to get the result which are nothing but my even records let me copy the statement and I just need to change this to in place of even I would be writing odd I need to change the column name and I need to change the remainder so I would be getting my even rec uh, odd records let's execute this as well okay so I'm getting my records and if you want to filter the data which is like less than six it becomes pretty easy okay let's do that as well spark.sql okay you need to write a query okay so the column name is nothing but value from your temp table and I would be I can write my where clause here itself okay where like value is less than six or else you can use your where clause outside anything is fine okay and let's quickly do show let's copy this and execute this as well okay so we are getting the data so all the data which we were able to get using DSL language okay so using DSL language we have achieved through using spark sequel okay and if you want to save the results to a specified location so you just need to write the data frame to a particular path so what we can do is I'll just show one and the remaining is like same so data frame dot right okay so the mode there are different types of mode so I'm going with overwrite if it is available please overwrite it okay so the format which format you need to write so I'm going with the CSE format okay and I need to see at which location so the location which they have asked is is user self or do okay whatever the location which they are asking us to let's do that let's copy this piece of code and clear off the screen and let's hit this okay this has been executed and written successfully let's copy this 
and go to over here and let's do ls ltr and paste that oh, that is the hadoop path so i just need to write my hadoop commands hdf hdfs ls and let's execute this okay so if you see there are multiple part files which are being generated so what we can do is i can just take any of the part file and we can just view the data from this part file hdfs dfs hyphen cat and let's copy this and i should be able to see some data okay so i'm getting some data so ideally what i have done is i have written the data frame okay but here you just need to replace this event data frame because the scenario asked us to write or data event data and the data which is less than six so i just showed you with the original data frame so you just need to replace this with even data frame or or data frame or the final is filter data frame okay and the remaining syntax would be fine same okay so this is the first scenario for hadoop and spark developer certification that is cc 75 using pyspark stay tuned i'll be coming up with more scenarios if you like this share with your friends and do subscribe for my channel for upcoming videos thank you take care